We're here today to discuss the Rapid Place Combo Tank and Trough. I understand you're one of the original purchasers of this unit. Do you remember when you bought your first one? <laughs> I can remember where we put it, but <laughs> it would be, uh, be 15, 10 to 15 years ago. Yeah. We are now running about 150 to 160 of these cup and saws. I noticed the delivery of five this morning, so you're we still obviously are still, still very happy with them and still got quite a few systems to replace right. cement troughs and that's our aim to, to eventually replace all our cement troughs. Dalkeith is one of the older Hereford studs in the country. It goes back, I think it was formed in about 1950. We run about 350 stud cows. And they have no trouble drinking from that? that We've had um, no problem at all with big, big 800 kilo cows with big horns on them getting in onto the trobs and these bulls have no problem whatsoever. What about sheep? Sheep, uh, no problems. You we run sheep as well? We run a lot of sheep and uh, a lot of goats. The thing that I find with them is the, the, the quantity of water held in the tank as a reserve, it reduces the, the size of the pipe that you need to, uh, to fill these trobs. So we've had, um, we've had 200 heifers on one of these trobs during summer last year, drinking off just the one trough, water delivered down a one inch pipe. Feeding four troughs actually in a system yeah. and um, the, the, the didn't run out. it didn't run out. When you compare it with a, an ordinary cement water trough, and in the same trough that we um, we had these 200 drink your we one day I bought a mob of cows into that same paddock. They were thirsty but not desperate. I pushed them up the hill onto the tank, and uh, within 15 to 20 minutes we had 55 cattle drunk, and they were walking off, going on to feed, um, which you would not have done on that same system with a three quarter to an inch pipe leading in. They would have been they would have smashed the cement trough. I think the fact that, that you've got that storage there is, is a great, great plus. Have you noticed the, um, the difference in temperature? We... Certainly the water is always more drinkable. It's one of these is at least two-thirds of it's in that's the shade. shade all, yeah. yeah, that's right. So the, the water in the trough is, is, is quite cool all day. And when a mob comes onto it, there's no chance of it running out? Very little chance of it when we had the 200 head on. It was an eye opener to me because you would have thought that they would have they would have drunk it all out and then they'd be pushy and shoving. It. They were, never did we find them on the, the hottest day trying to get trying to get water that wasn't sort of coming to them. It's that full flow float system that does that? That helps that immensely because the quantity of the water in the tank is is quickly got to filling the trough. Do you ever use the sweep out ramp? We do. You don't have to clean them no. regularly, but we do use them. Jim made a nice broom, which works quite well. In a lot food situation, they'd have to, have to be clean, yeah, with eating the grain. grain. Yeah. What about that thing in the top? I like that. It's a good indicator for, from the distance of what the water situation is, but like all waters, um, you've got to remember that that's not that's not the be-all and the end-all. As a general rule, if the level is up and there's not a mob of cattle pushing and shoving around it, the water is uh, the water is there and okay. And you can see that from the distance. Uh, probably five, two k's, yeah. if your eyes are good. Right. Um, if the level was up and there were cattle milling around the tank, you'd know, you'd know there was a problem and you'd go, go the extra distance to to, to find out.